popping YouTube family. It's your boy Dwight. Welcome back to the channel, Silverback Siage. First off, do me a huge favor. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I post new content. Today, I'm with an extra special comparison between two fragrances that are very, very held at a high standard in the fragrance community. If you'd like to figure out exactly what two fragrances that I'm going to talk about today and compare it to one another, keep it locked. Well, let's get right off into it, get down to the meat and potatoes. Well, a lot of times in uh, the fragrance community these days, these two fragrances are compared to one another. Right here I have YSL, Isla Ron Tuxedo, a nice little sample that I got from the mall when I was out of town. And I got Rojas's Moustache Eau de Parfum. It's the 75 ml bottle, 2.5 fluid ounces. That's your box presentation. Under the bottom you got basic product information. On the top, your Rojas stamp. Let's open her up and give her a spray and see what we got. Decent itemizer on there. Nice bottle. Bottle presentation, oh, by the way. Rojas on your top. Nice, hefty bottle, too. This, this comes with a, it's like a dauber. So we're going to put a decent amount of it on so we get a good representation of what that one's like. Let them dry down a little bit while I go over the notes. For, tux, for Issa Laurent's Tuxedo, the main accords are amber, patchouli, vanilla, that's ozon, ozonic, fresh and spicy, warm and spicy, balsamic, rose, aquatic, woody. But the note breakdown for that is, it was launched in 2015, by the way, also. Top notes are violet leaf, coriander, bergamot, Middle notes are rose, black pepper, and lily of the valley. Base notes are ambergris, patchouli, and bourbon vanilla. Let's see what we got here. Wow. Ooh. Wee! Yeah, I like that. I like that there. But I'm hearing rumors about when it comes to YSL's tuxedo that they're potentially either discontinuing it. I don't know if they're going to reformulate it or what, but it's getting pretty hard in the U.S. to be able to get your hands on it. So I'm hoping to be able to get me a bottle. I had an opportunity before when I was out of town and I didn't move on it. So I definitely regret that. So let's go to Rojas Moustache. Main accords, vanilla, amber, woody, warm and spicy, soft spice. Rose, citrus, balsamic, patchouli, and sweet. Let's see how close they got to tuxedo with this one. Hmm, that's awesome too. Awesome. Mm, yeah, they they nailed it on this one. They got pretty close. The accords for this, I mean the note breakdown. Top notes: pink pepper, mandarin orange. Middle notes are atlas cedar and Bulgarian rolls. Base notes are benzoin, vanilla, and patchouli. Now, with the mustache by uh, Rojas, I would have to say that mandarin orange kind of gives it a little bit of a more of a citrus opening to it and like a spicy pink pepper versus the tuxedo I get more of the violet leaf a little bit and that bourbon vanilla that's in the base of it to me is like in the beginning. I imagine it's going to be throughout the whole lifetime of the fragrance. This one a little bit more citrus. This one more vanilla with the with the spice base of it. Both fragrances are awesome. I would have to say, and it's not redundant to have both of them in your collection, in my humble opinion, for the simple fact that the, the tuxedo, if you're able to find it, the big bottle's like $250, $300. I paid a little over $40 for this mustache bottle. 
So I would say I would want to have them both so I can save my expensive one for the special occasions when you really, really want to make a statement. But this in profile here, somebody that's not in the fragrance community would not know the difference between either one of them. If you ask me, you actually have to spend some time with them to probably get to know the differences. Actually, if you have either one of these in your collection, leave a comment in the comments and let me know what you think of either one of them. But me, if I rated it first impressions at a 10, I give it an 8.5 or so because I got to spend some more time with it to see exactly how it performs versus uh, the tuxedo. But I will say the scent profile, they nailed it right on the head. I give them 90 percent uh, close to that very, very expensive fragrance. And it goes to show that you can buy a cheaper clone or an inspired by fragrance and be just as happy with it versus spending $300 plus on an expensive niche fragrance. But I'm gonna spend some time with them, potentially give a full review on both of them at a later date if I can potentially keep my little handy dandy sample here between now and then to do a review for that one. But this one, it's definitely review worthy. Let me spend some time with it. I'm going to get back with y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comments. But other than that, that's my time. Peace.